So, Terence, what is a check-the-box election? Well, I think before we discuss that, we probably should mention why they exist. Um, so, foreign entities can come within the net of US tax uh, due to having US tax owners. Um, and once within the net, they'll be subject to US filing requirements and also income recognition requirements, potentially. And given this worldwide reach of the US tax net, they let you um, choose your US tax status. So when you say you get to choose your US tax status, what are, you, what are your options? Uh, so you can either choose to be opaque as a corporation or you can choose to be a transparent flow-through entity. So it gives US owners of foreign entities the chance to elect their tax treatment for US tax purposes, but why would you want to do that? So the two prime examples we see for that are one is uh, removing disparity in tax treatments between two jurisdictions. Uh, the main example, the main example we see of that is UK LLPs, which are flow through from a UK tax perspective, but are by default treated as opaque corporations for US tax purposes. So you would make the UK LLP would make the election so that for US purposes, the US then treat it as a partnership to make the US and UK match up. That's right, it harmonises the tax treatment in both jurisdictions, which should hopefully make managing your taxes a lot easier. What other common scenarios do you see the check the box election being used? Uh, the other common scenario we see is um, entities choosing to be transparent to avoid uh, rather punitive US corporate rules, particularly the PFIC rules or the anti deferral rules around control foreign corporations. So if you are a foreign corporation, you can avoid the foreign corporation rules by electing to not be a corporation anymore? That's right, yes. So it all sounds pretty easy. Well, the election does trigger a deemed disposal of fair market value of the entity, so it can create a large tax cost for you in the US. And that fair market value, so that could be a large capital gain if you hadn't taken planning earlier? That's correct, that's correct. And are there any other uh, things we need to think about before making the election? Yes, so once the election's been made, you can't revoke or change it for five years. So that means if you're deciding to make the election, you really should think about your circumstances and whether the election is appropriate for you. That's correct, yes.